Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And you can see who's up for topic discussion today. Yes, it's Wendy Williams, all right? Our baby girl, Wendy Williams. Ooh, we like to call her the mouth of the South, but hey, it just is what it is. This is when Wendy was enjoying herself, looking good, feeling good. She had a husband, she had a son, she had a family. Then that joker right there to the left. Yeah, that bald-headed joker to the left. Thug-ass eagle to the left. Did her wrong, went and had a, a baby on her and got into a relationship. But can anybody tell me, who is this? Who is this man? That can't be Kevin. And we know he, her nosy ass brother, Tommy, wanting to get, how you call it, wanting to get attention from whichever way he can get it from. Yes, that's what he wanted. Attention. And Wendy would never give him attention. And that's old Bert, the man that stole her identity or her credit card and charged fees on there. Yep. That's old Bert. Uh, but who, who's this white man, y'all? I think this is the white man that she called herself um, liking or saying it was his her friend or something to that degree. Not really sure. But I just wanted y'all to see if y'all could help me to find out who the heck is this? Who is this Harpo? Who is this man? But we know uh, Jason Lee. He definitely likes using Wendy for a storyline. And he don't care nothing about her. Okay, he actually got on television and started telling us, or got on his platform and started telling us Wendy Williams was married. Wendy Williams is married. Who's that guy, y'all? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Because I'm still trying to search for a picture of something of reference that I can use to bring back to the family. We look at it logically. We deduce it <coughs> to, to a certain degree. Then we come up with who we think this person is. We come up with an end result. But I don't know who is he. Is that the one that's supposed to be the police officer or, or retired police officer she's supposed to be messing with? Who is this man? Is that Selby? Her jeweler? Turn, her manager? Y'all know. Ever since her mama died, she ain't been good. She has not been good. And her brother has been nosy, nosy, roly-poly. Okay? Just nosy. Just trying to do in and everything. And Jason Lee is pretty much doing the same thing he's using wendy as much as he possibly can and putting her out there for a celebrity um celebrity talk what is it i'm trying to say okay yeah he's using her for material to continue to put on his platform to make his numbers go up you know clicks and views that nature and he's trying to get his credibility back from when he made that statement or somebody gave him misinformation about the royal queen herself was over there and she was deceased and as you know unless it's a clone running on clone running over around there we know she's still to be alive okay but yeah when is out there saying she married she married but nothing has shown out in the public no marriage certificate nor the gentleman whom she has deemed her husband okay and nine times out of ten, if she was married, you would find some type of paperwork on that. Because even Beyonce couldn't hide the fact that she was getting married. Because she had to do it publicly to fill out paperwork to get married. That's the state of laws that we have that govern us throughout all 52 or 50 states. I don't know, y'all. They said it was 52 states, but uh -huh. I don't know. It might still be 50. Who knows? Do we really care? Not really. Okay. But yeah, that's Bert, her... I don't know, financial person, 
who messes with her finances and I don't know what hell he do, but I do know he stole that money. And we do know Kevin is over there in that uh, passenger seat and they're both getting chauffeured around. Now, Wendy is not, and look at that picture. I want y'all to look at it very closely, okay? Because this is Wendy at her downfall, okay? Almost bedridden in a sense. And look who was there uh, around her. You know, I call him the Prince of Death because he's he was around with Houston when she was going down, when she was out for the call, when she was almost bedridden. And we see, we know where she resides to this day. And Tommy, he just won't, whatever. But yeah, that's the video that uh, some blogger or some anxious fan was uh, privy to see Wendy. And Wendy was trying to be very talkative to this blogger. And he got a chance to... Uh, listen to her story about she was married and we know Wendy's not shy to being uh in the public sector uh being publicly uh interviewed as well as uh pictures are being snapped of her so she's not uh fearful of the paparazzi or any type of news media outlet journalist that's on the go trying to get that fantastic story and we do know she likes being out with her son she likes being out with Kevin when Kevin was in her life. And um, she might have had some good relationships with her brother. But they may have gotten, uh, what do you call it, strain over the years. Okay. So, and there you go. She liked being with Kevin. She liked being with little Kevin. She ain't never hide or hid for anybody. But now she's in seclusion. Bless you. It's total seclusion. Where her son wanted to visit her on the eve of her birthday or his birthday couldn't miss one of them okay um and she would not let him in now usually when you're on good terms with the person and they're uh you haven't seen them in a while usually the normal thing would to do is to let them in and y'all go have at it uh however that didn't play out that way uh poor baby boy had to go back to his college life or wherever he goes to college school at and miss that opportunity to you know have birthday shout outs for him or his mom like i said it was one of the two really doesn't matter because i'm doing this story it has no relevancy at all except for the fact that her son tried to see her he came in town and she he was the, she was the first stop uh that he made when he got in town was to just go see his mom and mom wouldn't let him in mom would not let him in from what the news media is telling us okay so i find that very 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 strange all right so fam i need y'all to weigh in on this situation though do y'all agree with me that wendy is on a downward spiral and definitely may not be coming back from that downward spiral because nobody's intervening they just letting her be her and uh you know too much alcohol too much other type of drugs they play a part and they tend to break down your blood vessels your heart contraction you know, the, the contraction your muscles do to pump that blood back to the heart um with the things that she is allegedly doing to herself it's going to be of a uh different horse of a or different color of a horse or hell I, i'm trying to make a uh an example or give y'all an example and i am just mind blocked at the time but it's going to be a, a, another horse of a different color that's what i was trying to say when shit really starts hitting the fan because nobody has really seen wendy except for photo ops or who are going around here talking about podcast podcast what the hell are you talking about and again is that kevin hunter when he was little, little. What y'all tell me? Who the hell was that? Who is that man? We know who that man is. We know who that man is. But, um. That was pretty bad what she did to, uh, Kevin. Baby, baby Kevin. That was pretty bad. Uh. Not really sure. Not really sure. Uh, 
Um, but like I said, a lot is going on with Wendy and a lot of people keep asking me what you, I feel about it. Well, I just feel that you <laughs> it is just something else. That's, it's just a, a, a sad story. And I really, really, really don't think it's going to end well. I really don't think so. Really, really don't think it's going to go well for Wendy because she has a lot of people around her that are doing uh, detriment to her and her brand. And it's not going to end well. It's not going to end well because nobody's like taking the a bull by the horse or the horse by the bull. Yeah, here y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, but it, it just is what it is, what I'm saying. But we need to find out. Or the family need to find out who these people beside um the ones who are, are around them. Um I just we have to, try to keep her in our prayers, pretty much. We have to keep her in our prayers. That's the only thing I say because Jason Lee is not good for her. He's not looking out for her. He's looking to continue to build on his platform and get salacious stories such as Wendy. Because technically, if you were a friend, you wouldn't have done that. You wouldn't have recorded her online. You wouldn't have done that. And um, that was just crazy, crazy, crazy that you have so many people that don't have her best interests. Uh, for her and want to see her use her degrade her dehumanize her and pretty much in a sense kill her <laughs> really now okay because like i said have anybody seen this new guy she's claiming to be her husband has anybody seen this guy exactly don't even know don't even know but that's all i got for the video guys y'all want to put down y'all comments we dialogue about it a little bit more please do so you know i always come to you all I always come to my family when I'm puzzled about a particular situation. I want to know what's going on. But now I'm going to get into what page six wrote about this travesty, this messed up type of situation Miss Wendy is in. Okay. It says, Wendy Williams' family friends are concerned at the bizarre mar marriage claim. It was written by Carlos Greer. Okay. Carlos Greer, friends and family are growing increasingly concerned about Wendy Williams, especially after she, uh, after she bizarrely claimed in a phone conversation that she got married to an NYPD cop. Whoo, I'll say even if that was true, Wendy, you, you know, because cops, they have a very, very, very dangerous job. Very, very dangerous job. And you really just don't know. I mean, you're taking a chance on anybody's life. Because anybody's life can be taken at a moment's notice. However, <laughs> we don't get into professional fields that's going to make us speed up that, you know, um, lifespan. It's going to shorten it by becoming an NYPD cop. Because you never know. People going around here all willy-nilly. They got this don't withstand your ground rule or whatever. They going around toting guns uh in the public eye uh i don't care if they have a, a, a license to carry or not don't really care about it but that is what i am talking about okay but anyway it says they worry that she's surrounded by people who don't want what's best for her and that she's being allowed to rush into work and media appearances before she's healthy enough that's why i say it if you don't think that this is a situation of heightened alert concern. I don't know what to tell you. And, you know, maybe Wendy, like some people say, are getting her just too bad by not having a lot of people around her. Because she's talked about a lot of people. She's laughed on, about a lot of people. She's made her opinions on a lot of people. And those people really didn't take uh, it well of what she was doing. So if you want to look at it from that point of view, okay, fine, get it, got it good. However, the same sword can be thrown in your favor one day. You know, when you're talking about people and uh, not on a public forum, not so as much, but just talking about them, period. You know, in a not unflattering way or unflattering way. So we all have our crosses to bear. 
But let's go on back to the story. It said, uh, uh, on Tuesday, there were left scratching their heads. And celebrity blog Hollywood Unlocked reported that she had called its CEO, Jason Lee, and shared a few updates on her life, including exciting news about her new hubby. Lee even posted a clip from a telephone call with Williams in which she said, I'm married. Speaking with Page Six, the chat show legendary brother Tommy described her recent appearance in interviews as really sad. I've been with Wendy since the very beginning, and she's never talked about or talked like this, but I don't think it's her fault. It's a precarious situation, he told us. Mm-hmm. And we're side eyeing you, Tommy. Her brother, we're side eyeing you. Uh, because you don't want the best for your sister. Or you would have shown better, you would have done better by her by now. Okay? But anyway, he told us that he spoke to his sister recently and that she didn't mention anything about a husband. Okay? She wasn't getting married last week. He said, I think it's kind of crazy and very unnerving. Williams has been on a downward spiral since taking a leave of absence in 2021 from her long-running beloved uh, show that show for what would become its final season. After her return was delayed and several times it went off air in June and amid reports that she was struggling with her mental health. So she has since given several interviews, including one with The Post last month, in which she declared she's ready to F-U-C-K, we do remember that for those who had watched it, okay? We do remember that highlight. Why was it publicized? I do not know. And shame on the person that photographed it. But, you know, because every time you get a person that want to give you a uh, on-the-spot interview or they want to interview you and they know you're not in the best headspace to be doing so, those are the people you have to watch, too, because they're out for themselves and not for anybody else. Okay? Uh, and definitely not for Wendy. Okay, and insiders say her situation has improved since she went off the air. Things are really off. It's not the same, Wendy. She's regressed like crazy. Her family in Florida is very worried for her, a source told page six. Now, who are the family members other than her brother? And her dad is too old to try to be running here and there trying to see what's up with his daughter. But I think that was the only family she had unless we're talking about nephews, nieces, uh, cousins and stuff of that nature that's back there over in Florida but again Williams jeweler turned rep William Selby said Wednesday she hasn't gotten married claiming that she's excited about a new relationship and probably got carried away in conversation but he told us that Williams is calling the shots about her career and her return to the public eye I'm trying my best to make my client happy he told us uh I have listened to her even if I don't always completely agree. If she wants to do an interview, sometimes we do it. And if it doesn't work, I stop it. We're still testing the waters, he said. Well, honey, Selby, I don't know where you've been. Because at the Louis Vuitton store, you shouldn't have been doing no interview. Uh, when she was in that limous, uh, limousine talking to total strangers, talking about she had got married. Where were you? That sh definitely shouldn't have been shown. So I think you're doing piss poor work as her manager. Okay? You come with the foolishness, the fuckery, the fraudulent, and fakery behavior. And therefore, you need to be dissolved of, pretty much. But again, the only person that I can really feel that she would listen to is her ex-husband, Kevin, and her little son, Kevin Jr. But it doesn't seem like that's going to work out in her favor. Okay? Mmm... She and Selby has been working on the Wendy Experience podcast, which he said they hope will debut mid-August if everything works out well. Where we're at the first part, I'm going into the second part of August, and it's not working real well, Selby. You need to get yourself together and just be a friend of hers and just keep nurturing her to better health and let her stay off of social media as well as any interviews that's the best you could do for us is what we're seeing all right going back to the article she says she's telling me she wants to do the podcast every day she's ready to do this thing today and i'm fighting her off selva said while admitting that williams isn't 100 percent yet could she be better yes more still needs to be done to put her in a space where she can be represented better i just want her legacy to be respected and intact he said 
Oh, yeah. If you want her legacy to be protected, you would be doing this out of the wall shit. Time out a podcast for her when she needs, as we say, medical attention. Okay, but anyway, meanwhile, other sources are confused by her relationship with Selby, whom she was rumored be to be dating back in 2020. This William person is her jeweler, but now he's her rep or, or functioning as her manager, and they're launching a podcast. It doesn't make sense, the first source said. And while Tommy didn't name Selby, he believes her sister is being taken advantage of. If she was around the right people they would wouldn't have had her in front of the camera she's in the wrong hands he said tommy williams has had a rocket sibling relationship in recent years because he often mentions her on his youtube show the tommy williams show still we talk regularly and i want her to be happy and i want her to be safe i want her back in florida because this is where the love is she needs to be around the people who genuinely love her he said we need to get we need to get her right, but she runs from me when I tell her that, he added. Meanwhile, Selby told us he's aware that while he doesn't feel something devastating will happen. William needs support and said, I would love to communicate with the family more and figure out the best way we could all work together. Wendy's lost her mother. She lost her show. She's divorced from her husband. Her son's away at college. All of these four things compounding will affect anyone, she said. Or he said. Additionally, she has lymphedema, thyroid issues. It's pretty heavy package for one individual. She's going through a lot, he said. I want her to be as happy and healthy as possible. People who support her try to be a little patient and understand she's one human going through so much, Sylvie told us. Now, my final thoughts on the situation. Selby, if you were doing all that you possibly could, you wouldn't be pushing her on a podcast. If anything, you could basically be saying, okay, we're going to do a podcast. What do you want to talk about? And all of it's be fictitious. You see what I'm saying? You could set something up like you're really doing something. And at the state of mind that she's at now, she probably wouldn't even know the difference. And then you would play it back for her that this is what you put out on the Internet. And then you would quickly uh, take, you know, take down the the microphone or whatever you would use it and y'all go on and enjoy a good movie or something to that degree but you definitely would not be showing her in an unflattering light like you have been those last two incidents that i spoke about earlier if anybody know who this man is please let a sister know because I, I think that's wendy i'm not really sure and was she married before kevin because i not that man don't look like kevin but anyway that's all i got for this video and i'll see you on the next one Bye bye